In this video, I am going to show you how to do the quick unboxing and a complete setup of your Epson Ecotank ET4850 all-in-one printer. You can do the copy, print, scan and fax with this printer. This is a wireless printer. So let's do the unboxing. Take the ink bottle and the and the power cord out. Remove all the protective tape. So this printer comes with the power cord that is here. And four ink bottles. And that's the manual with the CD. So plug in the power cable. Press the power button. So this printer has a touch screen. Select the language. You can set up your printer with the use of smartphone or oh, the easiest way is just continue without the app. Select your country of residence. Select season. Select the date format. Select the time. Click on the screen. Click on the proceed. Next step is to fill the ink tank with the ink. Lift this section from this side. Lift this section up. Now take the ink bottles out of the plastic packaging. Let's start with the black. Open the lid and place it here. Once the ink is filled in, you can take the bottle out. Close the lid. Go to the next. Press it down. Take it out. Close this cap. Open next. Take it out and close it. Go to the next. Shake it and take it out. Close this lid. Once the ink tank is full, you can close it. Press this section down and it will close itself. Go to the printer display panel and click on the proceed. Click on the proceed. So it will ask you for each color. Now press and hold the ink button for 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then click on the start. It will take around 10 minutes for the ink system to start. Just wait for that. Next step is to do the print quality adjustment. Click on it. Adjust recommended. Click on the print. Now load the A4 size sheet or letter size paper. Open the cassette paper tray. Adjust the size. And close it. Click on the print. Paper output tray is here. Let's see the print result. 
so if everything is okay if the lines black color everything is fine you just have to click on the circle to confirm and click on the adjust recommended it will print another page press ok and click on the print on this page you have to select the correct lines so just make sure you select hash 1 and hash 2 so enter the value so 3 is correct and 3 is correct so click proceed print the third page on this page you have to select the box without lines and enter the value on the screen for example number 6 for the first and for the second line I can enter 6 again and proceed click on the print to proceed for the fourth page on this page you have to select the correct line and click on the proceed print a last page select the box without overlapping number 5 is west press ok and click ok again on the next page press ok again if you want you can set up the facts now or you can do the later so set up later yes here is our main screen and we can start using the printer for copy next step is to do the wireless setup of the printer for that we have to go to the settings so scroll ahead settings general settings network settings wi-fi setup select first option wi-fi recommended start setup wi-fi setup wizard select your wi-fi network and enter its password so that has to be entered here click on the start setup once you enter the password setup is complete click on the close if you want you can agree for the research and send the data or you can just reject it and then click on the home button next step is to add in a smartphone laptop or macbook for wireless printing and scanning I'm going to add this printer I'm going to add this printer in my smartphone for that you have to go to the Epson iPrint app or Epson smart panel app so there are two apps so I'm just going to use the Epson smart panel app on the main screen you have to click on the plus button on the top select the second option connect to a product already on Wi-Fi wait for your printer to appear we can see ET4850 series select it connection is complete press ok you can update your printer yes agree with the terms and conditions so this will update your printer instantly click ok on the main screen you will see your printer on the top you can start using it for printing photo document or you can do the scanning so I'm going to use the Epson iPrint app click ok agree with the terms and conditions that's the main screen of the app click on the top section click on the home icon 
on the next screen you will see your Epson printer will appear select if you want you can also use the Epson smart panel app or you can keep using Epson iPrint now go to the home and you will see the printer on the main screen on the top and we are ready to use this printer for wireless printing and scanning for example to print a document select a document you want to print click on the print icon instantly it will send a print command So it has done the printing, print quality is good, go to the app, if you want you can also do the scanning, so in the app section, go back, you will see it says scan, now you have to place a page for the scanning, you can use the ADF tray to scan multiple pages or you can use the scanner bed to scan the single page. I'm just going to use the ADF tray right now. So place the page here, adjust the size. Click on the scan. You can take the page out once the scan is done and you can close this lid. So our scan has arrived here you can click on the save button and you will get option to save so to local folder you can save it as a pdf jpeg and click on the save button so that's the setup of this printer with the smartphone in the same way you can do the setup with your laptop macbook if we talk about the specifications of this printer now this printer has a touch display panel you can do the copy, print, scan and fax and this comes with the ink tank that means you can print up to 7500 black pages or 6000 color pages with that ink so that's a lot of ink it's good for printing photos, documents of high quality and it can do the auto copy scan it can also do the two-sided automatic printing it is compatible with most of the laptop macbook and smartphone overall it's a good printer for home and office use if you have a small business you can just use that that's all about this printer and that's the complete setup of this printer thanks for watching